I have a lot to say. So today I want to do a very short video on how to make a delicious cup of non-dairy hot chocolate. For those cold winter nights, stay tuned. I promise you this is going to be mmm, mmm, good. So getting started, my ingredient list is going to be different because I'm making two cups instead of one. The previous screen shows how to make one cup of this delicious non-dairy hot chocolate. I'm a little greedy today, so I'm doubling up the ingredients to accommodate two cups. So this is two cups of organic almond milk. I'm going to put it in the pot and turn my stove to medium heat. I'm going to be sure to stir this occasionally as I don't want the almond milk to stick to the bottom of the pot. I'm going to cool it down with this cocoa whip. It's an alternative to Cool Whip and it's stored in the freezer. This is non-GMO. So I'm going to do two big heaping tablespoons of this cocoa whip. It is delicious. It's going to add a little girth, a little thickness to the almond milk which is a little um, light and watery. So once I add this cocoa whip, I'm going to let it simmer a little bit longer, probably about three minutes. I'm going to stir it occasionally and it's going to be frothy, nice and creamy. And I'm going to add my organic cocoa powder. I am going to add three tablespoons by the end of the video. I split it up, but you really can do it all at this time. On with the next phase. So after I pour in the cocoa powder, I'm going to mix this continuously until I aid the dissolving of the cocoa powder into the um, almond milk and cocoa whip liquids. The heat is going to help it dissolve. I'm going to let it simmer and stir it occasionally. So this is what it looks like right now. You can see the little floating pellets of cocoa powder. By the end of the video it's going to be gone, it's okay. So this is what it looks like and I'm looking here and I know that I need to add another tablespoon of cocoa powder so I am going to do it in the next process. I added the cocoa powder off camera, but as you can tell it is darker, thicker, all the cocoa powder is mixed into the delicious tasting hot chocolate. And now it's time to add the sweetener. You can use honey. This is a cheaper cup of hot chocolate, but it's still delicious. I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of agave nectar. And you can sweeten this to your taste. This is my second, and then this is going to be my half. Oop, that's it. So it's basically done. I'm going to stir it around, and I'm going to get my mug. I like the oversized mugs. But this is what it looks like currently. Nice, rich. At the end of the video, I am going to add another tablespoon of the Cocoa Whip instead of a marshmallow. And that is optional. But here it is, nice and thick and creamy. And this is the final product. I am definitely going to enjoy. Hopefully you'll try this recipe. Until next time, thanks for watching.